Uh, let's talk about Daniel Hale. Uh, and before we go on, I know Misty tweeted about uh, uh, Comrade Misty. Missy Winston tweeted about this earlier today about people covering uh, Daniel Hale, and it's and it, and it's not like I've been pressured into covering uh, this story or anything. I literally saw it. I, I was only going to cover the two, um, and and, uh, and then I, I saw Kevin Gastola article had just dropped um, about Daniel Hale's sentencing that's going to happen on Tuesday, and uh, and I was like, well. Yeah, I, I, I want this to still be kind of in the forefront of people's minds uh, that this is happening in the United States. Um, so Kevin Gasola's article points out that they are trying to give Daniel Hale the harshest sentence that they could possibly give a whistleblower. Right now, uh, the U.S. government wants to put Hale in prison for nine years. Uh, they claim that he joined the National Geospatial Intelligence a Agency to steal classified information. Uh, and when they, when people were like, "Oh my gosh, is that is that true? Do you have any evidence backing that up?" and they're like, "Yeah, we just said it." What more do you want? Do you not take? Do Do you not believe the United States government? Do you think we're trustworthy? What the? F are you not a patriot? Like they got nothing. They got fucking nothing. So they're doing this bullshit where they're claiming claiming a bunch of stuff, and then the prosecution goes on to say this, right? They they say criminal penalties that are theoretically harsh but practically lenient are not sufficient. First of all, uh, they are both theoretically and practically harsh. Uh, you are you are trying to fucking demoralize and beat this individual because he exposed the president of the United States for having a kill list and how drones are used to kill innocent people. Uh, and then I get comments when I talk about this shit, right? Like the last time I talked about this, I brought up how there's a drone that uses six inch spinning blades to get its target. I literally had someone that goes, yeah, that's not true. It doesn't hurt other people. I'm sure it's a section spinning blade, but like it's supposed it's it hits the target. It's meant to hit the target. It's like, yeah, but if the target is first of all, if these things are inaccurate, they're gonna just fire it into wherever. And let's say it's a crowded area. You don't think a six inch spinning blade is gonna fucking hit some like what? Second of all, why are you advocating for six inch spinning blades to be put on explosives? They are they already explode. They blow up. What more do you fucking want? You fucking loony? Like, or the, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you advocating for six inch spinning blades to be added to missiles? What is this fucking GI Joe's? Like, what? Uh, you know. And these are the people that look at what the United States government is doing and by by saying that you know these quote theoretically harsh punishments aren't enough because Daniel Hale revealed how fucking awful the United States government is. And the fact that Obama had a kill chain, there, there's a kill chain. The government has a kill chain. It's a hit list. What? That should fucking terrify you. You should immediately be like, what is this is not a government I want to support. And those people are justifying, you know, this statement that it's not enough. Horseshit. So the prosecution also declined to dismiss four other charges um, just in case what he has pled guilty to doesn't get a harsh enough sentence. Right? Um, and they're and they're saying, well, well, you know, he's a national security threat. And and then everybody's like, well, what's the evidence that he's a national security threat? And they go, well, we did you not hear us say the words national security th threat? Because that's all the evidence you should need. Okay, we're the United States government. Okay, like, so whatever we say, you should just, like, take. Just, like, don't question it. 
we're actually trying to pass a law where questions are illegal. Okay, so like, just like, just take it for what it is. Then, I mean, then, then you have people that come out and are just like, well, facts are a myth, bro. Facts are a myth, okay? It's like a mind puzzle. Like, what? They say stupid shit, crazy shit like that. It's like, what? no, you can't. I don't know if you know how words work. So here, here's here's why this is significant. It's because uh, Daniel Hale pled guilty to basically the largest charge. And in, in doing that, uh, they made an agreement with him. They made a deal with him that the other four charges would be dropped. Clearly, that's not what's happening. Clearly, these fucking people lied. Go figure. The United States government lied. Uh, the prosecution is also claiming that they can't drop this, this evidence. Uh, they can't drop the other four charges because they have secret evidence uh, that uh, he gave documents to ISIS. Everybody's like, wow, really? Well, where's this evidence? And they go, well, it's a secret. We can't just... Then it won't be a secret. And then it's just like evidence. So boom. Got you on that one. That is a that's what we in the biz call a legality. So bam. You've been legalized, bitch. But they got fucking nothing. They got fucking nothing. So they're coming up with you know the the same old shit where it's like oh well maybe he joined uh because he wanted to get classified information and you know he's a threat to national security and he, maybe he gave stuff to isis it's a secret though and we can't reveal that because it's classified it's like you got fucking nothing then can't back up your claims in a court of law then so so then they go and they and they do another classic thing, which is uh, which is character assassination. So they're 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 assassinating his character by basically claiming that he wanted to have access to journalism so that he could be a rock star in the world of journalism for revealing these really cool secrets. Oh man. So so then so then they basically go, well, these whistleblowers aren't as good as you think they are. Uh, because they just reveal this information to like, because they know, because they know it's, it's a panty dropper at the bars. Which guys, I mean, that is true. When I go to bars, I'm like, guys, I'm a, I'm a whistleblower. And the, and the bar's like, wow, what did you, what whistles did you blow? And it's like, don't worry, but just know that I'm a, a whistleblower. If look, if the United States government doesn't need to show actual evidence, then I don't either, right? I just go to bars, and I'm like, I'm a whistleblower, and they're like, what whistles did you blow? And I'm like, it's a secret. The people that got that joke are the true fans of the show. <laughs> but they're, they're, they're doing the character assassination shit, right? Like, it, what, what? There's no, the, he gave it to a fucking journalist. Okay, give it to Jeremy Scahill, who's been really quiet about all this shit. Kevin Gasola does a story about Daniel Hale, right? Like, I, comedians are talking about Daniel Hale. Activists are talking about Daniel Hale. But the guy that wrote a book and a series of articles, he, he cashed out by writing a book. Fucking silent. Totally silent. Really fucking weird. But he, gave it to he, he didn't go around parading this information. He's not sitting there and being like, guys, I'd really like it if you called me like a hero. He's not doing that. So even, even their character assassinations are based on fucking nothing. They don't have anything. What they're trying to do is detract from the fact that Daniel Hale revealed that the American military has used drones to fucking kill innocent people. They are trying to detract from the fact that America has consistently committed war crimes nonstop. And they're using these distractions. We can see it, but 
there are people out there that don't, that need to be educated about it. That, that need to let go of this fucking fallacy that the United States military is out to do some good. They're not a fucking humanitarian organization. They're the fucking military. They're dudes with guns, dudes and ladies with guns, that want to go kill other people. That's their thing. That's what their mission is. They're fighting rich people's wars. Let's look at your comments. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Holly says, Daniel Hale is a hero. Uh, agreed. Yes, Daniel Hale is a hero. Julian Assange is a hero. Edward Snowden is a hero. Uh, Chelsea Manning is a hero. So these are, we should be, we should be living in a society that champions whistleblowers for revealing the corruption and how fucking broken this government is. Zozovic says he's got cooties and has poopy pants. So there, that is true. Uh, that is true. And I mean, Zozovic said it. So, you know, that's all the evidence we need. I've heard, I've heard that he's got cooties. Yeah. That's why you, that's why in most photos, you don't see uh, a lot of people around him, except for the photos that you do. Um, and obviously those are uh, communist lies. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is being accused of having cooties warrants life in prison. Uh, if it's the government saying it, yes. Uh, Holly also points out they killed an American citizen by drone. Yeah, blew up a wedding, killed citizens. That's what they're using this technology for. I mean, that's that's essentially so. Essentially, the advancement of the drone program is to get rid of dissenters in the country. That's what they're going to use it for. That's where this is going. Like we're we're heading. To, there's so many aspects of what's going on around us from from, you know, Texas trying to get rid of civil rights and suffrage and treat the uh, teach that white supremacy is awesome to to the fact that whistleblowers that reveal American war crimes are being treated as criminals so that the American military can expand and expand and expand and go into using drones that are just going to fucking murder people nonstop with using missiles that have spinning blades on them, which is just like, what overkill fucking, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger wet dream did you fucking concoct that shit in? They, they, they're criminalizing socialism. So if you're a socialist, you're considered a domestic violent extremist. I mean, they're using all this stuff to create a dystopia. I, I know I said this yesterday, but I have to keep repeating it. Look, books like 1984 are important, but we don't really get an accurate understanding of how we arrived to 1984. And guess what? We are living it. We're living in the 1984 prequel. That's what we're living. Our life is the 1984 prequel. If you want to wonder how you get to dystopia, this is it. We're in the midst of it, and we can stop it. Because the end result is what 1984 depicted. And we can stop it. Support people like Daniel Hale. You know, push back. Talk about it. Get out on the streets. Amplify this story. Tell as many people as you can. If there are people that shit on whistleblowers, correct the record. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button and please make sure you share this content out. Sharing is very important. Sharing is how independent media gets the word out there about topics that corporate media doesn't even want to mention on their networks. So it's really up to you guys. Corporate media very much depends on the people. We are people powered media. That's what we really are. Uh, another great way to help if you're on stable financial ground is to uh, make a financial contribution to this channel. 
And you can do so over at krishmohanhaha.com slash donate. You can become a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets, early access to videos, bonus stand-up comedy and storytelling content, uh, a way for you to communicate directly with me, ask me questions, and other uh, premium content that uh, will be released on a monthly basis. Um, or you can make a one-time donation as well on that same website. Um, I also have uh, various stand-up comedy albums. I have about six comedy albums out right now uh, that are available on my website at krishmohanhaha.com. And most of them, if you get them off of Bandcamp, are available for a dollar or a, a pay-what-you-want pricing. And I also want to mention that I do have an online merch store. Uh, you can go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com, click on the merch tab, and check out all of the designs that I've made myself. And the Julian Assange shirt, there is a Julian Assange shirt that's on the website. All the profit from the Julian Assange designs will be going to uh, pro-Assange activists, such as Action for Assange, uh, Kevin Gastola, Richard Methurst, folks uh, 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 that, that are covering and talking about Assange. So I'm going to be making donations to them. Um, uh, it'll be 100% of the profits I make off of that shirt. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Thank you again to all the people that have made contributions to the show, that regularly check out my content, that have subscribed to my channels. I, I very, very much appreciate it, and uh, and you guys help keep this uh, keep keep this this train a moving. So I, I very much appreciate that. Until the next video, we'll see you on the road. See you guys.